What's up guys, Twig46 here with the next episode of Silent Hunter 4. Now we are coming into Midway after that insanely long episode. I'm so, uh, again, sorry for that, but things happen. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, we are in port. There we are. So let's uh, see what happens here. There we go. We got us a uh, Navy Cross. Cool. I'm okay with that. During the past months, we've made good progress in the Solomons, despite the desperate Japanese resistance and attempts of repelling our forces. Until August, different attempts were made by the Japanese to bring reinforcements to New Georgia, and several small naval battles were fought in Kula Gulf and in Vola Gulf, with the U.S. Navy managing to push them back. With us controlling the sea, the Japanese had to stop sending reinforcements to New Georgia, which made our advance easier. So by the end of August, fighting on the island was over. During September, the advance of the Allied troops through Kolombagara and Vela Lavala Islands intending to push the enemy to the north was progressing quite steadily. By the end of the month, the Japanese started evacuating both islands. In the beginning of October, the Solomon Islands were completely under our control. Well, that's good. But we're only in 1943. Remember, the war was uh, at least 1944. I believe it's 1945, but I don't know. I'm not that big of a history buff. Alrighty, so we're doing uh, promotions, are we? Sick. So we'll give it to the... Uh... Yeah. We have a lot of promotions. Alright, so we've promoted all the dudes. Uh, whatever, just, I don't even care, just take them. Some to the torpedo room, whatever. Oi, oi, take your damn medals. Alright, so what we got here? Um... Twin, uh, twin 20s, that'd be cool. I mean, I don't really care. I don't use them ever. Uh, I think we're good. No available upgrades. We got the sensors, so torpedoes, we're good. Yeah, I'm good. All right, let's uh, go on our patrol. Oh, crap, I didn't read what it was. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, well, we'll just improvise. We will yes, improvise. I'll stop. Yep, I'll stop. We're safe. Uh, radar off. Thank you. Single contact. Bearing eight eight. Long range. Uh, holy sh crap! Where's our objective? New message received. Yeah, ops in the Sea of Ot Otosku. Uh, guys, I have no freaking idea where that is. Let me um, go Google that really quick, yeah? Okay, that's interesting. Um, they sent us way up here. I'm just going to assume uh, 150. This is interesting. I've never been sent up here before. And we're at Midway. So, yeah. Cool. Let's get underway, shall we? Stay out of the shallows, but after that we should be okay. Uh-huh. Go up here, and then we'll see what's happening. Oh, yeah, there, 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 there. Okay. So how do I want to get in here? Let's see. We can try going this way. And see what that does. But, um, yeah, you probably don't want to see this part where we get all the way up here, so I'll cut back when we're, when we're there. Alrighty, unfortunately, uh, we have, uh, flash traffic saying Peleliu, again, is receiving a whole bunch of crap, and just to let you know, on my way back, I found, like, six more convoys and, like, seven more individual ships. So that's a really nice place to be right now, but, you know, we're going to where we need to go, so that's what we're going to do. 
What's up guys, Twig46 here with the next episode of Silent Hunter 4. Now, that cut was probably one of the most obvious ones. Uh, the reason why is because I just I just wanted to get... Hang on. There we go. I just wanted to get to uh, this spot before um, too long on the video. So anyway, this is a fresh day for me. I just got out of the shower. I'm excited to play. I want to play. And I'm entering a uh, area which I've never been before so I don't know what to really expect but I can tell you right now that this is probably going to be a really good uh, hunting ground I don't anticipate up there being that good but um, you know we'll see what happens I'm assuming we're in our patrol zone now so um, I guess we got some flash Tokyo 1 Okay, from truck to home waters. Truck is way the heck down there. Yeah, there it is. Truck. So we're not going there because we're way the heck up here. So yeah, let's uh, keep going. Oh, yay, yay. I personally hate taking showers because it always makes my skin itch. Like, tremendously. No matter how much I, I wash the the soap off it just seems like it strips my skin of all its oils and it just makes me itch like crazy let me like complaining about that for the next 20 minutes hopefully there'll be something to distract me in that time but again like I said I've never been up here before so I don't actually know What's going down? Running out of plot points, though, that's for sure. <laughs> um. Let's try hanging out over here. We'll just erase that point. Uh, this might be a bit risky, so let's already get our our out game going. Alright, so we're slowing down now, because I'm guessing this might be a port. So we might have to get a little bit closer. Like that. Something like that. So let's see if we can uh, see anything... on the radar and we got nothing so I'm assuming that's not a good place to be so we're out what do my orders tell me I have to do oh I have to conduct anti-shipping ops so I have to sink something or maybe I can tell them that hey there's nothing here and I'm wasting gas just kinda driving around in circles I'm gonna go over here and see what's going down that way. Because I'm there might be some stuff going on over here. Booyah, we got one. Alright. Plot a course for 30 full full speed ahead. Excellent. Let's get a tentative line. Something like that. Just yeah, as a guide, it's not an exact. I hope it's a big one, because if it's not, I'm going to be disappointed. Okay, he's slowing down. Let's cut across the axis. A little more. Slower down. Okay, so we're doing. We're doing it. Monthly line like so. Not exact. Doesn't have to be, just close enough. Ugh. Skin is so itchy. I hate it. 
I hate it so much. People say, oh, your skin feels clean. Nah, for me, it's just itchy. Ah, it's everywhere. And the more you scratch it, the more it itches. <laughs> of course it does. Um, 5.3 and 15, so we're good. We'll go ahead and keep going full. And we'll slow her down. <coughs> and slow her down again. And the bugger turned. Head east. Standard. What a goober. Alright. We'll just draw a new line. That always happens though, doesn't it? And we'll uh, cut across. A little more. Thank you. Alright, new measurements. Um, go to one third, please. And we're about in torpedo range, so we'll slow down like way a lot. I mean, not that much, maybe. Um, let's get a more better line. Uh, 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 not quite really far off most of that has to do with uh, where the back point is like there good enough all right then so we need to uh, adjust our course ever so slightly maybe a little bit slightly more that's about good how far are we and how far are they? All right, slow her down. Deck's a wash. And we have it. There we have. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's like the perfect, perfect deck's a wash. Except for the front deck, but you know what? Whatever. Um. Ugh. Come on, skin, get your oils. I need them. <laughs> Makes my skin not itch and suck. <laughs> not even the game can distract me. That's why I hate taking showers. It sucks. Anyway. Distance from target. Good enough. Uh, let's establish our diving safety thing which is actually right about now is when we want to be diving honestly but we'll let him get a wee bit closer this one's a slippery bugger we don't want him sneaking away all right we'll do three more clicks one two three we're under all right so we should be able to hear this dude Four, zero. Should be around here somewhere. Now, if I had to guess what this guy is, it's really hard to say because I've never been up here before. But, based on that sound... It could be, I mean, probably not this one. I'm thinking more like maybe this. It could be um, one of these, one of these, one of these, or of course the, the uh, any of the small ones is what my guess is but we don't need to guess because we're gonna find out I just gotta get him inside the five mile mark and then we can uh, start targeting him 
Alright, he's under the microscope now, boys. Track that current target, please. Merchant. Closing. Bearing. Thank you. Six. Seven. Current target up. And away we go! Da 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 da! da, da, da. More copyright, so I'm probably gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sad but true. Anyway. I mean, seriously, like, they'll copyright you for, like, playing Star Wars. I'm like, fucking Star Wars. Like, the, the main theme. It's like... Everyone knows what that is. Wow. Twelve knots, huh? Merchant. That's considered medium? Four. Jeez. Four. That's crazy. Alright, let's do some calculations. Okay. Speed, we'll do 12, which is about there. Okay. Gonna need some a reference point for my scope. Alright, so he's coming 6-4, so he's coming this way. So we'll try him at uh, 15... So that'll be about there, right? But we need the range, and it'll be maximum, and... Nope, we're gonna have to do like more like 20, I think. So that's here. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we have a, an idea, so we need to sh be shooting around 20, so... Yeah, that's coming up, isn't it? What is our range, actually? Our, es our estimated range. Good enough. All right, so we need Watch another it. speed check. Six. Um, let's do that really quick. I still don't know what he is, but by the time by the time this speed check thing happens, um, we should be alright. Um, to get a sneak peek at what he is. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it's so easy to time warp past things if you're not careful. Oops. Dun, dun, dun. Great. Closing. Still, it's the 1150, but if it's just... Yeah, there must be like some rough seas or something. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, they said he was about here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And... Oh, I know what he is. Do you know what he is? You've sunk this kind of ship before. This is a different one. I don't really see him that much. But it's very distinct. It's, um... This guy. Now, okay, so I know you can't see if I do that with this, but okay, look, so we got the, uh, the... The, the two rod thingies. Um, notice the shape of the bridge. And there's a stack in the back. Alright. So if we go to here. I mean we got the the stack in the back. There's the two double thingies. And the shape of the bridge and the overall shape of the ship matches. So we're good. So we know what this guy is. And. He's about, f about 5,000 tons. Draft 21, so standard tor torpedo depth will be fine. Um, so yeah, this guy is definitely worth taking a shot at. Now, we know he's going to be firing at about 20, but we can get an exact line right now if we need. But we don't need, so we're already good. What we need to do is adjust our course based on this line. 
the line that we set is good enough. And that 90 is definitely not good enough. Let's try again. There we are. So what do we need to do? We need to be at 165 exactly. 50, 65. All right. Yes, sir. New course. One. Good. Yes, so we're doing that. Um, that's going to affect the dis... Like, because we're turning, so instead of... You know what I mean? It's like instead of him being here, he might be here, or he might be here, depending on how far we have to turn. So that's going to affect some things, but we, we want to get rid of those errors, hello moon, as quickly as possible. And we're about 11 ports, so we're good. Again, we're firing at 20, so, you know, he's we're going to be firing way over here, so we got time. Alright. I'm just going to take it one more listen. Four. Eight. Right, I'm just trying to like hear all the tones in there because I mean it, you have to you have to remember that um sometimes in in a in a war situation you just kinda have to pick something and go with it and just build a whole bunch of it because you know, it's like if, if you start having like 15 different models of stuff, that, that means you have to have the manufacturing for those 15 different kinds, you have to have the supply lines and the the, universi the universality of those parts. So it's, oh, we have this part, but we have this plane or a tank or gun or whatever, and they don't match. So, you know, I mean, that's... Um, I've, I've watched some World War II stuff, and honestly, that's part of the reason why Germany lost the war is because they kept constantly improving their designs and at trying to get the bigger better things and a whole bunch of things and they just couldn't support it whereas uh the russians for example they had like the kvs and the t-34s like did it work yes is it good enough yes good build a bunch of them and so it's like you know they take it you know t-34 to any shop they have the parts to fix it they take a you know a panzer three to the tiger one plant well it's not gonna work see what i'm saying so anyway there's a little uh, not really a lesson but something to think about anyway so that's yeah four. Four. point is um listening to the uh engine sounds can be helpful but not always gonna give you the exact results you want anyway um, we know we need to fire at 20, so we're going to check up on this guy at 30, which is kind of like now. <coughs> there he is. Alright, let's get a estimated range. Estimated firing range, 2,700. We'll put firing at 20. Oh, you know what I didn't do. Makes tubes 1 and 2 ready in all respects. Tubes 1 and 2 ready in all respects. Do the thing. Alright, good enough. Firing at bearing 20 range. 2,650. Let's see, 2,600 and. Good enough. Target in, this in sight. Angle on bow. 70. Speed, 12. Bearing, two, four. Range, set. 
Torpedoes ready. Torpedoes ready. Oh, that is the maximum zoomed in view. Okay, this is night, so I can aim the tor torpedoes wherever I, wherever I want them to hit. And we're going to space them out a little bit, so kind of in between here and in between here is where we're going to go. Target crossing and fire. Target away. Or torpedo away. Torpedoes away. <coughs> now I'm no, I'm never ever 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 gonna follow them um, in the underwater view because that's horrible luck for me. <laughs> but this is the easiest way to to see what's going on at at nighttime. So I'll, I'm I'm okay doing it this way. It looks like one of them's tracking perfectly and one's a little early, but we should be okay. Um, thank you, Sonar. We don't need you anymore. We have visual. Oh, it might be going a lot slower than I thought. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Hit. Hit him. Even if it's on the front. Oh, he's going slow. Oh, the first one missed. I know. I know it missed. Woo! Got him. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Even the one missed. Wow. That guy got vaped. Yep. He was going a lot slower than I thought. Oh well. We still got him. Whew. <laughs> All right, resume speed. Resume course. And resume depth. All right, and scope down. And we're done. Now we gotta wait till uh, command. Uh, tells us we can do something else because yeah this area sucks all right yes it did all right radar is up and running uh, let's radio command okay they still say we have to do stuff whatever Onward we go. Radio message received. We did it. All right. Command says proceed 150. Oh shit, Tokyo Bay. Okay. This is not good. Okay, this isn't. I would say it's like sometimes they tell you to go right here, and I've even had orders to take photographs of Tokyo Bay. And are you can do you know how many destroyers are in this area? There's nowhere to hide. You can hide here and here. And that's it. Basically, they're telling you to go go kill yourself. Basically is what they're telling you. All right, so we had a circle of 150. There we go. We're getting out of this area. It stinks like dirty poo poo poopy diapers all right so they said I can engage at my discretion now I could go this way I think it would be the shorter route however if I go this way I pass through two straights and that's very good for hunting so that's what we're going to do stay out of the shallows as much as possible this is a bit of a risk right here during the uh, during the day, so I might hold off and just kind of park here and go to uh, uh, radar depth during the uh, daytime. I'm not gonna.
push my luck too much there because it's well within uh, radar range if anything passes through there and uh, pass close through here go kind of around this to like keep my radar there in this area as long as possible and then work my way through this little bit and then from there we can go kind of like that and then we're in our patrol area and we'll see what happens from there so that's, that's the basic idea so without any further ado let's get to it and it might be taking a bit of a risk running so quickly on the time acceleration Single contact. Bearing three, four, four, long range. <laughs> hello there all right plot a course south standard speed yes, sir. all right let's see what let's see what we can do with this guy um, we'll draw a tentative line Something like that. And see, we want to be going westish so we can cut in. Whoop, a little bit too much cutting. Let's drop the time acceleration for a minute. So we need to get some uh, range estimates. 7 and 13. We'll go ahead and go full. Thank you. And then we'll get in there a little bit faster than he will, definitely. Alright, slowing back down. And we're good, so let's drop time acceleration. Take a look at the seas. Ooh, they are crystal clear. Well, this is really good and really bad. Let's see... We got what, like 5,000? He's still 10. So we're going to dive more like at 8. Um, we can slow it down to like 4 knots. Yeah, look how, look how visible our wake is. It's like crazy. But it's still a damn fine submarine. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. Stroke the submarine. Stroke it. Mmm. Feels so smooth. <laughs> anyway, um, where's our crew at anyway? There should be some people on deck, deck watch or something. You know that that thing where they they watch and stuff yeah whatever just get them on their sleep schedule all right so we have the people on the watch there we go all right let's accelerate time a little bit we can even decelerate now super much go dex wash please Bearing two, nine, five, long range. just because it looks amazing and amazing and I love it oh my gosh look how good this looks hello we got us a we got us some kills I think Hopefully. Um, okay. Just because I'm curious what it looks like. So we got one there, which is our current target. And then we got another blip right... Oh, actually, that's our current target. I thought it was over there. So, yeah. 
Um, let's go to this screen because this is how you properly would utilize the radar. So he is about. Come on, there we go. About over 300. No, 30,000 meters away. But this guy is like 150. So he's twice as close. Sweet. And that'll figure. 8.8. .8. He should be like 17. 18. Yeah. Neat. Alrighty. So we're just putzing along here. Yes, sir. New death. Dun 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 dun. We'll just go under. Yeah, that looks awesome. Zero. Try to hide as much of ourselves as humanly possible. And shloop, we're under. You can't see anything. Yeah, but the thing is, is planes can still see us just fine, just fine. We're not invisible. All right, let's take a listen. So the other guy should be like around here somewhere. Okay. The other guy should be around here somewhere. Again, it's hard to tell because I've never been in this area before, but I'm going to say it's probably a, this the same guess as I had before. It's hard to say, really. Very well. Let's get this over with. Because normally I like to take my time, is sort of, but we have two ships, so we need to kill this first one relatively quickly. Before the second one gets out of range. Because that would be most unfortunate. Yeah, but he's coming this way, so, you know, we should be okay. Alright. Sound guys. tracking the right guy yes you are that's again why I don't like engaging multiple ships because sonar doesn't always track the right guy that I want them to track it would be nice is if they had to click the line that you want sonar to track kind of thing or click the the search cone that you want sonar to track kind of thing that'd be amazing um, Cause I mean, like I understand, like in in real life, like you can't, like know exactly where they are. Like you can, oops. Like you can in this game because you know it's just a game. They want it to be playable for the average player. But you know, it's like if I want to be tracking this area, I don't want contact information for this area. I only care about this side. So they should be able to like make a cone it wouldn't be that hard either you just like have this and then you can do this you know same thing for like the 90 see that's that's different than this you know so like they should have something like we're here it's like okay i want to set some uh some sonar stuff it's like only track targets in this in this range and you just kind of click drag it out and then you do the range and then you can uh, have a second second click where you can put points so you can make like like a cone like I want you to only track targets in that area that would be great 
Of course, that's never going to happen because the, the people that have made this game are probably not interested in it anymore. Okay, so anyway, we know he's going 8 knots, so let's set up our solutions. Uh, 8 knots, we'll try for 15. We'll fire tubes 3 and 4 this time. Okay, torpedo computer solution set up. We know he's going 8 knots, which is there. More or less. Rain. Well, angle on bow needs to change as well. So we're doing 15, so that's more like there. And we're not sure about the range just yet, but it doesn't really affect much. No, I might want to do more like 10. Let's try 10. Angle on bow. That's better. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're firing at 10. So we need another another speed check. But we can wait on that for a little bit. We'll probably take him more around uh, 55. I'm doing this a lot closer than I would normally because um, last time it didn't work out so well for me. Because the guy, I almost, almost missed the shots because he was going a little bit slower than I thought he was. And again, that's that's just why I like to make my shots closer. Because it eliminates um, error. So the solutions, if they aren't perfect, they don't have to be perfect. They just have to be good enough. But if you're closer, like they don't have to be as good as, as they need to be further out. So he's still going eight knots. We need to look because we need to adjust our course if it's not good enough. Alright, it's our good old friend the biggin. So let's adjust course um, based on what, what we have now. So we'll create a line. Track it. It's almost perfect. Right, this is no way realistic, but you know what? It's a game. It's meant to be fun. And if you can't sink ships, it's not fun. So, you know, some concessions have been Watch made it. for gameplay. Four, we need a course of 226. 25, 6. Yes! Six. As you can see, we're quite off. But that's okay. So there she is. There we are. Um. Alright, we really don't need this scope up right now. Just lower it down. Uh, just so we can see our numbers. We need a range. Four, six, closing. Two thousand nine hundred. Bearing. Four, five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Closing. I'm gonna get a little bit closer this time. Merchant. Bearing. Four, one. Closing. Okay, our steering solution is correct. Three. Alright, so the scope's out of the water, so let's see if this increased speed has any effect on the, uh... Nope, I'm not really seeing any rippling. 
I mean, no, not really. Bearing. All right, cool. Three, five. So let's uh, get a rough range here. Oh, it's a little, lot farther than I thought. 38. So we're just inside range for fast speed. So this has to be really accurate. Which is why I'm get, trying to get close. Um, so we're going to predict... For a range of firing at 10. We're going to need to be somewhere in like that neighborhood. doesn't really change the solution that much, but we're so far away. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is this is the view I normally get on this, this magnification. So that's context. Anyway. It looks like she's turning. Is she turning? She's not. All right, we're firing at 10, so we need to set our torpedoes, which means knowing her draft. 24, standard standard torpedo depth should be fine. We're using tubes three and four. Three and four, set and ready. Ready to fire. Trying not to hit enter this time. All right, so we know that we need to fire when she's at 10. So we're gonna accelerate that a little bit. Um, we're gonna slow down when she's at um, 20 or so, maybe 18, and get a final range estimation. Three thousand one hundred. Range. One, six. Bearing. One, five. Bearing. One, four. Bearing. One, three. Should have plenty of time. Bearing. One. Two thousand. That's really good. Bearing. One. One. All right, torpedoes ready to fire. On my command. Bearing. One. Zero. Indeed. Space them wide, because it's a daytime attack. She will see these coming. Torpedo in the water. Bearing nine. Nice big wide spacing. So let's see what happens. So I might have screwed that up quite a bit on the range, but it doesn't matter. The uh, the solution would be, would have been the same. Bearing. Somehow that got Six. really screwed up. Bearing. Five. But there's Bearing. the first one coming out Four. the out the gun there. Boom. Three. Okay. She hasn't seen them, or she has? She, I think she's seen them. I think she's turning. But the first one hit. Fire, that's a good sign. I think the second one may miss. Nope. She's hit twice, so that should be enough to bring her down. Let's go check. Sonar, shut up. 
Making very sure I don't hit enter because that was embarrassing last time. Okay, so let's see what she's. Let's see what we got here. She got two holes in her. Propellers are still both working. Unfortunate. And for the most part, she's looking pretty damn healthy for taking two torpedo hits. Um, I think I just missed. I think it's you had to hit like right here. That's where the ammo storage is. But I think she's sinking a little bit. Um. I don't know, it's hard to say. She looks really healthy. For, you know, taking two hits like that. I think the aft might be sinking a little bit. Because the, the water's going above the holes. But the front looks fine. The fore looks fine. Just see what happens. We always have the deck gun if things don't go according to plan. Looks like the aft is sinking quite evenly. Yep, aft is definitely sinking. Slowly, though. Bearing. Three. Two. Three. Thank you, Sonar. We might have to surface and uh, punch some holes in her. Alright, let's, um, get the crew on battle stations. Yep, deck watch to damage control. Get someone on the guns. And as soon as she turns, we'll surface the boat. Cause it's always cool to watch it go up, right? Especially when it goes up so fast. Alright, we don't need the periscope anymore. Alright, get those crew members on the gun. Top hat should be uh, well above the water. Target. Aim for the water line. Fire at will. I'd love to stay, but I can't. I have to uh, man captain my ship. Yes, sir. Rudder, three, six. Yes, sir. Rudder, zero. Rudder, zero. Trying to present the smallest profile to the to the ship as possible, because as you can see, we're taking return fire. Okay, she's turning the other way, so we should be sh should be safe. Brilliant shooting, gentlemen. Help her along. Success. Hey, 
Bye bye. See, the back was almost done. It just needed a few more holes in it to convince it to go down. Oh man, could you imagine this view? I was like, that was your boat. And there's the guy that killed you. He's right there. Ooh, she hit the bottom, I, th I think. She did, she hit the bottom. Haha. <laughs> so there you go. There's there's the monuments. Bye-bye. Oh, beautiful sinking. Now get under, you bugger. Alright, so she's officially dead. So, while it would be cool to watch this thing sink all the way, we got other problems to worry about. Oh wait, there she goes. Bye-bye. So we got other things to worry about, though. Um... Alright, so he's going this way, so we're gonna want a more westernly course, so let's go, uh, let's go yes. west. Two, seven, one. Go. We need to haul butt to get to this guy. Because we don't know what he is. Alright. Just gonna do a cut here really quick, just so the frame per second doesn't go away. And we're back. Painless, right? Just to make sure that Fraps doesn't leave me like it has been in the past. Alright, go northwest. We really don't want him to see us, because our wake is ginormous right now. Um, yeah, like, yeah. Merchant somewhere over in that, that direction. But we need to run parallel and ahead for now. All right. So going over our old map markings. Let's plug in a course for this guy. We're gonna have to be very careful with him. Obviously like to sink him before they get in the too shallow of the water. Maybe a little bit more careful. But yeah. Um, time is almost night time. So this is great. Because we're so close. That's the problem. Hold up. get a better line cuz you're worth it a little bit off um yeah just so obviously the reason why we want to sink him before he gets to the to the sh the shallower waters is because there's a port here and a port here and ports usually mean aircraft and aircrafts um, if you watch the bonus video are very dangerous and um, you know you can't dive in shallow waters which means they'll see you so their their bombs won't miss um, we need a 90 right now we're gonna go for it oh, come on La 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 course please two two eleven Yes sir two four two one zero yes sir Dang I'm on like fire with that today. Let's watch the ship turn. Beautiful. We're hunting. We are hunting. Like, look how maneuverable that is. Of course, it's going so freaking fast. It's like cutting through the water. But that the, that the crew can can maneuver a boat like that, you know, that accurately is amazing. Anyway, 
We got things to do. So how far are you away from me? Pretty far. You say you're going medium, so let's uh, get going. The game will tell me if, if we're too close. It'll say merchant spotted. So I'm not too worried about uh, messing up there. 7,000, 10, see, so yeah, we're fine. Just keep that radar scanning. Please. Try to get close. Closer this time. Right, so we're gonna yes, drop our speed quite a bit right now. <laughs> and just watch as, as the wake goes down, like how much we're kicking up. <laughs> Can accelerate that to double speed. Quadruple speed. Should be kicking up considerably less crud. But anyway. I digress. 8.6, so we really should ought, ought to be at Dex yes, Wash. Yes, I'm sorry, you guys. I just, I love watching, watching the sub do what it does. It's just so cool to me. Right, crew, you might want to get inside the boat because we are hunting. It just that's just so cool to me. All right, so we should be totally fine. Yes, sir. You Start tracking her when she's here. Half our speed. Yes, and half it again. Hello, so, 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 Something like that. Let's go. Oops, I forgot to tell it's so not a track. That's okay. We'll get another one. It's just an idea. Merchant. Closing. All right, we're good. Bearing. Two, eight, seven. Ten Merchant. and a half as Bearing. an estimate. Two, Let's get a listen. Eight. Eight. Closing. Again, it could be quite a few things, but that's what it sounds like. Alright, so what's our tentative range? We are in the butter zone. Beautiful. Alrighty, so we're going to get another speed check now. And this will be the, f maybe the final one. I don't know. Closing. We'll just do it and see what it comes up. If it's the same or golden, if not, then we need another one. We need them to match. Bearing. Two. No. Great. Eleven. All right. Well, we got a speed. Oops, wrong button. Two nine six is this way. All right, another big one. Beautiful. Um. Okay, so let's get a solution set up. Oh, shoot, we need a course, don't we? Since we're here. 
We need an we need an exact line. Bearing two nine. That's seven. pretty dang good, but it could be better. There we go. That'll do. Alright, so what is that line? Bearing two nine eight. No, that's not nearly good enough. Actually, since we're here, um, we can do a third speed check. Why not? Like so. And now we have all the time in the world to set this up. We're multitasking, people. <laughs> it's the wave of the future. Get it? Wave. Because we're on the ocean? <sighs> Pretty good. We'll have to work hard to beat that. All right, cool. So we got our course, so what is it? Two, 13, two, 13, two, 14, two, 10, select there. Good enough. All right, so our range is something like 218. We say she's going 11 knots. We'll try 340. So the angle on bow is obviously going to be way different. So 11, we'll use tubes 5 and 6 this time. Range will be something like this. All right, we can go 345. Good enough. Okay. Clock is ticking, gentlemen. Bearing three zero. All right, good. Very good. Bearing three zero five. Okay, so we got two ten fifties and one eleven, so we're changing the speed to ten fifty. Okay. Um let's see, if we're firing at three forty five, that'll be that. Zero six. Uh does that affect no, not really. All right, so we got tubes five and six. Um, we'll check up um, when he's at three thirty, I think. Bearing three zero seven. All right, slowing it down. Okay. There we go. That's more better. All right, let's get a three, three, three. Let's get a range here. Seventeen. Good enough. Well, we'll actually, we'll dial it back a little bit. There. Okay. Target is in position. You are ready to fire. At least I hope we are. Anyway. 
We'll uh, aim for the first spot right where we want it to be. Which is right about there. Okay. And based on what happened last time, we're going to go ahead and uh, shoot a little bit earlier than we did. Um, sonar. Thank you, man. Let's go to our attack map. Shots are inbound. There's one. There's the other. They're following the line exactly. And she's going fast. She is going really fast. Well, let's watch. So that's where the first one hit. So the second one's going to be way back here. Oh, good. So it doesn't matter. She's down. She's down hard. Nice. All right, so we know she's dead. Um, let's go take a look. Because she will hit the bottom. See, it's right there. Lovely. And no lifeboats are away, so we did a good job. Clean kill. Dun, 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 dun. Aft end is coming down. She's completely under. I love it. Uh, well, guys, I think that will be the end of this episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. As always, new episodes every other day, 6.30 p.m. <laughs> Morning stretch. <laughs> Until then, run silent, run deep.